James Quinn um, uh, play guitar and sing. Warwick Nickelbone on bass, his nickname is Whack, we call him Whack. Um, he's, he's quite a nice fellow, pretty much. The whole video I've got to say about him. This is amazing. Well, uh, it's Gary Payton, Chopper on the drums. Um, known Chopper for a long, long time. He's actually an old, kind of an old drum student of mine from a from long time ago. <laughs> I come from East London, um, and yeah, we, well, Ken, we heard about Matt's stuff from a friend of mine, and uh, you know, it's full analog, old school style, and that's the way I'm look. That's what I'm looking for. When I started my job, well, there's a lot to like about Graham's town, Art Town, and um, there's a lot of interesting people here. There's not a lot of industry for recording, but uh, nonetheless, it's, it, there's a lot of interesting people who like to work in the arts. Good records from um, the 70s and 80s and the 60s in particular have always fascinated me and been a very uh, strong um, sort of obsession of mine and hence my interest in the recording medium. It's more of a wholesome sound, I suppose. You know, um, not, not, not processing things digitally and, uh, and overlapping and doing this and this. You know, we're just going in straights and, and jamming. Okay, Quinn, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Well, Quinn's band is a blues rock band, so um, most of the repertoire is based around 60s and 70s recordings, which were all done on analog mediums. The problem with digital recording is it seems to not be very musical sounding, quite clean and cold and clinical sounding. And there's a strong move from people who are into sort of more of a vintage rock sound to have the material recorded in an analog medium, um, maintaining more of the spontaneity of the recording process, um, less editing, and um, more more sort of uh, sort of risk taking in the recording process. Quinn know, knows me, and and he knows the studio, and he was very keen to use the studio because of the qualities that I like in music and he also has a common interest so that's why he, he wanted particularly to come here. I, I haven't recorded in analog before and I'm very excited about it. Well this is not a full album, it's going to be more of an EP, you know, a demo EP. Um, but yeah, I've said for a long time that I want to do, I only want to record something analog, you know, I don't want to, to record on the computer and like do everything you'll pull the uh, effects in on the computer and, and whatever and whatever, yeah, no, it's straight, steady. A place I really enjoyed last year was Perry Gators uh, in Pringle Bay in, in the Western Cape. That place is a really good good gig. Um, uh, the G-Spot in Weinberg. Uh, yeah, um, Champs, Grahamstown. Yeah, always, actually, that's, that's my favorite gig spot in the country. Yeah. Often get people coming out of town, town to come here and record specifically? Or yes, I've had uh, quite a few people from the States come over uh, especially and a few people from Germany. Um, I had the Rolling Stones in last week and next week I'm, I have the Beatles. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>